First, import your color map, your roughness or specular map, and your normal map. For the skin shader to work, make sure your model has real world scale. Set the color space of your color map to sRGB, the color space of your gloss or roughness map to linear, and the color space of your normal map to non-color. Now add a principal shader. Now connect it to the surface of your material output. Add a normal map node, then connect the color of your normal map to the color input of the normal map node and then connect the normal output to your normal input of the principled BSDF shader. If you only have a gloss map and not a roughness map, then add an invert node and connect it like you see here. Now connect your color map to the base color of the principal BSDF shader, to the surface radius and to the surface color. When you are now increasing the surface value on your shader, you can see that your model looks like wax or like maybe glass or something. Leave it on a higher value for now. To make the skin look more realistic, add a hue saturation node and add it first to the subsurface radius and then to the subsurface color. Then add a second one to the color. Play a little bit around with the saturation value of your bottom node and set it maybe to 1000. Depending on the size of your model, set the value to 0.007 or even lower. Now you can see that the high saturation value results in a more flashier look. Now increase the value of your top node to match the brightness of your desired look. To make it look even more flashier, increase your surface value. Put your questions in the comments below and also you can download the project file on my Patreon page.